What you waiting for? Come on already! Let's go! Can't get this slow-eyed cocklump to cross the bridge. It's because she's scared of something in the trees over there. There's what now? Right there on the other side of the bridge. You were right. Say, you must be smart or something, boy. You're a boy, aren't you? Ha! Does she have a name? I don't know. Rude bastard ain't ever asked mine, so I ain't ever ask hers. Ah! Ha! What's yours? Brock. Better look <laughs> Say, uh, you're not gonna believe me, but that axe you got, uh, it was me what made her. Me and my brother was one of our best. So don't let nobody else go work on her except for us two. <laughs> you gotta handle her special. Or she'll wreck beyond fixing. I can enhance her for you right now if it so pleases you, son of a bitch. So what say you? Ah! You are right. I do not believe you. Come, boy. There's a rune in the shape of a fork under the grip. No, digger beach ya dumber fuckwa! That was our brand, my brother and me, before we split. I got half of it right here, see? Look, you want I should upgrade her or not? Very well. I expect an improvement. So, where's the other half of the brand? Oh, my dumb brother's got it. But I got all the talent. Look! Is this the way to the mountain? It would seem. If it isn't the bearded beaver, it is sexy. Have I got something for you, too? Brock? But how did you... None of your fucking business. Now get in here, I got something for you. And don't go making pig eyes at my spot. I saw it first. Okay. <sighs> What do you think he wants? To test our patience. When word gets out about my new shop, folks will finally come out of hiding. They'll be clawing all over each other just to catch a whiff of my wares. You watch. Catch! The pile of rocks there, with that key of Yggdrasil, you can open a magic door to the branches of the world tree. A shortcut between the realms. If you ever see him out in the world, use it to get back to me quick. But it's only one way. Straight back here and nowhere else. And whatever you do, never, never, ever, never, ever throw yourself over the edge of the path, lest you want death. Yeah, I don't see us wanting that. <laughs> Whoa. Sure is foggy here. Another dwarf. Should we... No. He is of no consequence. Uh, excuse me, but, um, how did you come by that, uh, axe? That is my concern alone. And, uh, while I won't dispute that, I, I know that blade. It was one of ours, but, uh, <laughs> we didn't make it for you. Step aside. I can't. See, the woman we made it for, I was, uh, well, I am quite fond of her, and I would be somewhat displeased if it turns out that you did something to her. It was my mother's. She left it to father before she died. Face dead? 
I'm very, very sorry to hear that. She was a fierce warrior. And a good woman. Okay. I will make improvements to the axe. But nobody asked you to. Well, it's, it's true, but... But knowing your mother, <laughs> she would have insisted I repair that act of vandalism perpetrated against her axe by my brother. I knew it. You are Brock's brother. The other half of the brand's here. The blue one is your brother. Yes. Though my talents are vastly superior. <laughs> no boast. I swear to Freya. <gasps> Do not undo his work. Improve upon it only. Yeah. But can you can you put it down over there? That handle is no. filthy. Okay then. I'll just I will just Oh 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 Oh, is that dried blood? Oh So what were you working on? Oh, that. I call it the Sky Mover. Just up that mountain waits a treasure trove of rare resources. Once I mine it, I'll need a way to bring it all down. And you know how to fix it? Not even a little. How are you here before us, Dwarf? We were told our path was the only one between realms. It may be the only way for you to travel, but we dwarves are full of surprises. That is not an answer. Ah, hang on to that sense of wonder. There's so little mystery once you've amassed the wealth of arcane knowledge that I have. Where to comb the realms for exotic resources. How to craft them into creations that defy imagination. To the novice, I'm sure it all seems like magic, but... Uh, oh, all right. It's magic. Are you happy now? Did you really make that axe for my mother? Oh, I'd recognize it anywhere. Ask me. It's one of our best. Infused with the echoing screams of 20 frost trolls. Give or take. But why her? How did you know her? She sought us out in the beginning. She was a special woman. She wanted to protect people. I suppose we thought it was a chance to give power to someone who'd use it for good. She even spoke our native tongue. She'd say, Madurin Sem Gengur, Egen Vigum Hans. Gengur I. That's right. That's impressive. I see a lot of her in your eyes. You know? Thanks, and Don't I... touch me. What? I didn't. I won't. I'll come back later. Be careful where you're going. There's nobody nice out here anymore since all the people left. I mean, I hate to generalize, but, um... Mostly, they just try to kill you. Good tip. Um, I know it's not my business, but if I were you, I'd wash off that symbol painted on your neck. We were told it would help protect us. Was that a lie? Oh, no, it's a protection stave, all right, but you can't render that pigment into paintable texture without blending it with boar urine. And is that really better than death? Maybe a little. Well, well it's your neck. <laughs> Sindri, have you always been so... Clean? Huh. Don't I wish. No, I was just as unsanitary as the next dwarf until the day a Vanir witch set me straight. She discovered with her magic there are hundreds of thousands of tiny beasties on everything around us. Oh, so small you can't even see them. No. It's true! And if they get inside you, they make you sick. But the witch told me there's one wood, the oak, that's a natural deterrent. Stops the beasties from spreading. So now, I make all my handles from oak. See? I think of these things. Okay, back to work. So how come Brock's blue and you're not? Why? Oh, it's fine. Very good question, actually. You see, my brother's not as careful as I am. In fact, he prefers to work with metals using his own bare hands. 
Ugh. No gloves. Says it's the only way he can hear what it wants to be. Touch enough raw silver and it changes your skin irreparably. That means forever. I wouldn't bring it up to him, though. <laughs> you know how sensitive he can be. I guess that makes sense. Sindri, why don't you just make up with your brother already? Me? Make up with him? Because he's an obstinate pighead incapable of change. Because he says the most terrible things about me. Just because he's insecure about his own work. Which, let me tell you, is subpar. Because he blames me for... for the things that aren't my fault. Huh? Like what? Would you pardon me, please? I need to collect myself.